Okay, so this is subtracting fractions part two, where we're going to make it just a little bit more complicated, but it should be fairly okay for you if you do the addition of fractions first before you have a look at this. So the question I'm going to ask is, three quarters take away seven tenths. Okay, now, if you do the addition of fractions, you'll know that the greatest common factor of those two is the number 20. It could be 40 if you wanted, but 20 is a little bit easier to deal with. And that three quarters is 15 over 20. And that 7 tenths can be something over 20 as well. So 10 is 20 goes twice. 2 times 7 is 14. So the answer to this question, 3 quarters take away 7 tenths is 1 twentieth. Okay, so let's just make it a little bit more difficult by adding whole numbers as well. So exactly the same question, but this time I'm going to write it with six whole ones and three quarters, take away three whole ones and seven tenths. Well again, we're going to make sure that the numerators, the denominators are exactly the same. So six and three quarters is six and fifteen twentieths. Take away three whole ones and 14 twentieths. Now the secret of this is to take away the whole ones first and then take away the fractions afterwards. So 6 take away 3 equals 3. 15 twentieths take away 14 twentieths equals 1 twentieth. And there's your answer. So the answer to 6 and 3 quarters take away 3 and 7 tenths is 3 and 1 twentieth. Okay, let's make it just a little bit more difficult. So, what we're going to say now is 6 and 3 quarters take away 3 and 8 tenths. It's going to be a little bit more complicated. But what we can do is we can rewrite it to 6 and 15 twentieths, which we already know. Three whole ones and something over 20. 10 is 20 goes twice. 2 times 8 is 16. Now we've got a bit of a problem because we can't take away the whole ones and then take away the fractions because you've got 15 twentieths, take away 16 twentieths. Right. Okay, now the secret with that is this number here. And what we can do is we can rewrite the number 6, just the number 6, as 5 whole ones and 20 twentieths, can't we? Because 20 twentieths is 1, and 5 add 1 is 6. So if we rewrite that, what we've got is 5 and 20 twentieths and 15 twentieths. Does that make sense? Okay. So if we add that little lot together, we've got 5 whole ones, 20 twentieths plus 15 twentieths is 35 twentieths. Yeah? Now what we can do is we can take away the 3 and 16 twentieths of our original question. So 5 take away 3 is 2. 35 take away 16 is 19 twentieths. And there's your answer. And it's a much, much easier way to do it like that. There is another method of doing that, and I'll describe that on some of the pages that you can download from this particular site if you want to, but that's a very, very easy way of doing it, of recognising that that six is five and twenty twentieths. And those are the different methods that you can use to subtract fractions from each other. So if you want to, you can now download some of the documents and you can have a go at them for yourselves. Good luck.